Today is Monday, uh, day three technically of the coronavirus soft shut-in. And the kids are kind of doing some school type stuff. Someone from a mom's group that I'm in shared a picture of a bunch of different websites that are free for like education purposes. And so I'll share um, some of the information. Maybe I'll put the picture in right now over my talking, but it does seem like they do have quite a few different options. So I'll see if I can also get all of those websites typed in below as well. So if you have kids that are looking for something to do over these next few weeks, these websites would probably be pretty helpful. In the meantime, I have a little bit to clean up in the kitchen. You can't see behind to see all the mess. <laughs> um, so kitchen cleanup for me. Did you knock it over? Hey, you want to show how you do the bouncy ball? Light up the bouncy ball? How do you do that? Oh my goodness! It bounces and lights up! Whoa! You're so excited. You love doing- Oh, it stopped- it stopped lighting up. Did you make it light up again? Oh my goodness, there it is, by your feet. It's by your feet. That one doesn't quite work the same, dude. <laughs> that doesn't work the same. That would just hurt. Adorable pancake eating for Chayton. Huh? Are you eating a pancake? <laughs> Who's your plate? That. Who is that? The bee. Who is this? Goofy. Who is that? Oh, Goofy is on there. Who's this? Goofy. Mickey? Goofy. Donald? Goofy. That's Goofy. Goofy. Donald? Goofy. Mickey, yes. One thing that I was going to mention is that I went onto the Walmart grocery pickup app and there are no time slots available over the next seven days. So Kevin and I are going to have to venture in at some point just to get a couple of things, I think. It's snowing again. I don't know if it's going to stick, but it's snowing again. I think today is the perfect day to stay in pajamas. And I'm going to clean up my computer a little bit and get stuff put onto the backup drives. <laughs> Back up the backups. <laughs> I should probably get on some of the shirts that I owe people. And I'm gonna look through my material and I see if I have the material that I need to make the specialty ears for the winner of yesterday's live game, which I also wanna go down and check to see what other games we have for our future live games. I'm just, so many things that I'm excited to do. And I think I'm trying to make a longer list of things that I want to do as opposed to cleaning up the kitchen. What are you guys doing? We are playing Roblox and we have our own boat. Your own boat. I can't even get in my boat. I'm going what are you chewing on? Chayton, Chayton, although you don't have to do schoolwork today, I would suggest still doing something educational, okay? Whether it's working in your book so I could print out some math pages or if you do one of those websites that I, I sent you, okay? Chayton. Chayton, that's not a ball. What? That's BB-8. Put BB-8's head back on. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're demonic again. It did stop snowing at least. But it's not really nice weather to go outside and play. Chayton's down for his nap. And I'm about to make some coffee. The kids are downstairs having recess because they just ate. And they haven't done any schoolwork. They've been playing on their com on their phones and stuff. So I'm gonna give them some time to, it's a little after 12 now, give them until one, st uh, get some energy out and then have them do some schoolwork. So we're sitting here, Talon did his some math homework. He was trying to get me to find one of these worksheets. And he was able to find it on commoncoresheets.com. So if you're looking for stuff for your kids to do, 
it has all of these options and on the left side you can pick what kind of um, math uh, problems and then here you can choose specifics they have reading problems all sorts of different options and it's free <laughs> We're a little afraid of the bounce house right now. Hey, take it! Look at them jumping! Look, you got a smile on your face. Yeah! You want to film them jumping? You want to film them? Raven's doing somersaults and Talon's going to fly over the edge because he's too tall for this. Break it apart, just jump on it. <laughs> He's a little bit of a titan. Chalkboard coloring time, yay! What are you making? Lots of colored lines. <laughs> you got lots of colors to choose from. That's awesome. All right, you bounce, boy. You bounce. It's a dance party. Can I join in on the dance party, Jaden? Jaden, show me how to blow the whistle. Oh no, she fell out. Jaden, Jaden, how do you blow your whistle? Ooh. <laughs> blow the air through it. You don't scream. There you go. You got it. Come back here. Good job! We don't jump with it in our mouth though. Earlier today I did find a bunch of games down here from trivia to I'm pretty sure that's um, an acting out of different movies. So we have Pass the Popcorn I think is a trivia movie game. I'm not sure. Cranium has questions and stuff. So we are going to play those I think throughout these next few weeks. With you guys, of course. Hey, hey, wait a second. Why do you guys have your shirts on backwards? Because it's opposite day. Not opposite no, I'm day. Just I forgot. Backwards day. Yeah, spirit week, right, guys? <laughs> Go, Spirit. Raven, you may scramble for five seconds. That means you can run on the floor for five seconds. Wait, what are you guys? Are you guys playing like the floor is lava or but something? Instead, you can walk on the floor for five seconds when I say your name. Oh. Oh, Wait, you can scramble! Go, go, go! I'll ask since um, I'm on here. I can just keep walking around. But Raven has to say my name anytime and say scramble, and I can run as long as I can until I find So you have to spot. stay off of the floor until she says your name and, and scramble. scramble. You can scramble. Raven, did you put your pants on backwards? No. No? Oh, and now, and now you're kind of stuck. <laughs> Is that really supporting you? Yeah. That's plastic. <laughs> Daddy setting the TV up. Yay. Look at that screen. Whoa, pretty colors. Someone is super happy now that we have some Mickey going and snacks and drinks. We have party planning going. We're making a um, bouncy house, like a party bouncy house. And the two pieces, like, all kind of stuff in there. I think I really could get used to hanging out down here, letting the kids do whatever and just edit. And I mean, we have a window. If you can see, we have a window. Actually, we have a couple of windows, but that window is right here by the entertainment area. So we get some natural light down here, which is nice. We've got this much done so far. I put one of each color up here. I'm just seeing you have and some puff I, balls. I have some puff balls. We even have some streamers. Uh -huh. I did it like this. I went down oh, cool. and around. Oh, wow. Like down and around. Yeah. Because you can kind of see a lot of the colors. Well, that's fun. And now I'm going to add green to this side. A very rare moment. Of them getting along. No crying, no fighting, no injuries. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll just die. You should go in the bounce house, dude, because you would totally, I think, end up enjoying it. <laughs> See, it moves. That's why you can't stand on it. <laughs> Such a goof. I do plan to make this creamy chai chicken tonight uh, so that way we can use it because it came a week ago and I want to use it before it goes bad but it's Monday our next box came so we have three more meals uh, that were delivered today and then between all that and all the other foods that we have I think that we won't have to go anywhere for a few weeks which probably good considering it sounds like it's getting to that point of everything closing down. The chicken had come separately from inside the bag but all of this was in the bag. However, it does say that there was supposed to be an apple with it and there was no apple in my bag but luckily Yaya had given us some produce when we were over at her house and so I do have an apple luckily on hand. That is part of the first step is to wash and dry all the produce and then have and core the apple. I went to spray the salad, which I had enough for the salad, but my fruit and veggie wash is pretty empty. And I know I shared the um, ingredients with you the last time, but this time I'm actually going to make a batch so you can see how I make it. So we start with one cup of water and I do this in a bowl because I learned the hard way when you add the baking soda to the vinegar, it expands. And you don't want to do that in the container because then it just, whoosh, and you lose all of it. So in the bowl, I start with one cup of water. Then we add a cup of vinegar to the water. <laughs> now we add one tablespoon of baking soda and hope that the bowl is big enough so that it doesn't over expand. Slow and steady makes the stuff not go all over the place. Oh, it's getting up there, it's getting up there. All right. I realized just now that in the veggie wash recipe that I had put in our last food vlog was incorrect. It's supposed to be 20 drops of grapefruit seed oil. So I'm gonna go and update that. I don't know what I said in the video, but just so you know, it's 20 to zero. See, it totally looks like two. I'm gonna have to rewrite all this. All right. Then we just stir it up. I went ahead and updated it and I put some tape over it so that way hopefully it'll stay longer. The next step is to pour into the bottle. You have it veggie wash it lasts a little while so you don't have to do this too frequently depending on how much produce you use while i'm cooking these guys are going to play the game of life Ooh, everyone wins at least something now it's time to cut up the apple Let's mince some chive. Okay, now time to zest and quarter the lemon.
reunion time. So who's married? Who has kids? Like what kind of job out. are you doing? The cop. Making seventy thousand a year. Not I'm bad. A doctor making ninety thousand. With a hundred and sixty thousand dollar home. Okay. And I have one hundred and twenty thousand dollar home. And I have boy girl twins. And I have a, and another girl. Aww. I have a boy girl <laughs> twin and I have a girl. Wow. <laughs> you guys are both like right well, on par. These kids are your kids fell out? Yeah. What? No they jumped you away. need to learn to take better care of your kids. They jumped out of the car. Oh, they jumped out. Car seats. Child locks. The cars were driving around by themselves for a while. Were they? Then we realized they were um, autopilot. Must have been Teslas or something. <laughs> okay. They were like, oh, we should probably go in our cars. <laughs> Our next step is to do the rice. We are going to mix three fourths cup water with the package of jasmine rice and a pinch of salt. We're gonna bring that to a boil and cover and do a low simmer for 15 to 18 minutes. So that'll probably cook while we do the rest of the stuff. That came to a boil really fast. Going to turn it down low and put a cover on. Now, while the rice is cooking, it's time to make the vinaigrette, which is olive oil, lemon, mustard, and sugar, salt, and pepper, and some of the chives. Well, apparently, I wasn't recording when I made the vinaigrette, but we mixed up olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, sugar, and some of the chives, and it does smell pretty good. Now, we just need to dry the chicken. Season with salt and pepper and drizzle olive oil and then cook it in a preferable non-stick pan for five to seven minutes per side. For the last step after you take the chicken out, you have to wipe out the pan so you can make the sauce. We're gonna add the chicken stock, mustard, water, lemon juice. After it's simmered, we do the sour cream and chives and then season with salt and pepper. I just need to add a tablespoon of butter and some lemon zest to the jasmine rice. While the butter is melting, we're gonna go ahead and do the salad with the mixed greens, the sliced apple, and vinaigrette, and maybe salt and pepper. I just want you guys to take a taste of this. And I will make you whatever you want for dinner then. You don't have to eat it, I want you to take a taste. You don't like it? No, It shouldn't be. It's not hot. It's spicy. It's the lemon. It's spiced my tongue. <laughs> it spiced your tongue. on it. And when you have just the sauce, you're going to taste it more than anything. What do you think with just a little sauce and when you eat it with the chicken? When you eat all of it like together, right? Did you like it that you want more? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, Chayton's excited for the chicken. I am. And not using the fork. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> you had to move it though to separate it. <laughs> what do you think? Chayton? Does it, is it good? Yum, you want another bite? Mommy. You're working on it. So I'll take that as a, as a plus. So we've got two out of three that have tried it, that have liked it. There you go, girly. Let's see. Try the apple first. Oh, oh bless you, know. all over the food. <laughs> the um, apple might have some good sweetness with the sauce. Can you get it all? <laughs> there you go, you got a piece. She's my salad eater. What do you think? Yay! <laughs> this is Kevin's plate. I gave him just a little bit of salad to try, and he's got a full chicken. I, on the other hand, did cut up some of my chicken for the kids, which is fine because I'm not as big into the meat, so I'll just load up on the salad. I'm going to taste test. Let us start with the jasmine rice that has butter and lemon zest. Is jasmine rice supposed to have a little bit more of a bite? I'm not quite sure if I cooked it long enough. Or maybe I needed more water because some of it was sticking to the bottom. But it's a little bit more like an al dente kind of texture. I don't totally taste the lemon zest a little bit. It's very subtle. Let's try the salad because that had a lot of lemon on it. It has the apples. It's got chive. I feel healthy eating it. <laughs> Good to get the spring mix in. The apples add a nice sweetness. I can taste the mustard a little bit. A little bit of the chive coming in at the end too. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think some of the salad though is not very good because I think it's like past its prime and it's kind of wilted, but I think the vinaigrette and the apples kind of help with that. Time to taste the main dish, the chicken with the lemon mustard, chicken stock, chive sauce. I like that sauce. My chicken is cooked through. I just feel like the texture doesn't seem like it's cooked through. Is it just me and the texture? Do you not like the chewiness, like the sponginess of it? But I mean, it is completely cooked through. There's no pink on that whatsoever, but it just has a little bit of a I don't know, sponginess. I gotta make this quick because we gotta clean up after dinner and calm the kids because Chayton is crying. But HelloFresh was pretty good. I like the flavors. For some reason, chicken always makes me worry with the texture and everything. I always feel like it's undercooked if it's what I call spongy. I looked it up though and according to Reddit, it's supposed to be spongy when you cook it. Uh, because all the water comes out of it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to double check. As far as I know, as long as it isn't pink anymore, it should be good. So I would just really feel terrible if during this coronavirus epidemic, I gave my family food poisoning and then we all end up in the hospital. That's why I'm not a big fan of chicken. Chicken always worries me. But the flavor of the sauce was really good. And I really like the salad that it, Everything had a flavor that really went well with the others. So lemon was throughout the whole thing. You had mustard in, on the chicken and in the salad. It was just really good. Probably just gonna get the kids to bed and maybe watch a movie in bed or something. Just something really chill for the rest of the night. Maybe I'll unbox HelloFresh because I need to get the stuff in the fridge, but it'll just be a quick uh, unboxing and that'll be part of tomorrow's video. So until then, we'll see you at the next Maya Markers.